Uh, Johannes uh, Christensen is following the story from Rekev and joins us live with more. Thanks very much for your time, Johannes. Now, how um, are the protesters reacting to the resignation of the Prime Minister? I really don't know because I have been just following the news at my uh, at uh, uh, Reykjavik Nitya office. Uh, but uh, we have a new Prime Minister now. He comes from the same party as the as the uh, resigning uh, Prime Minister, and uh, the the, uh, the 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 chairman of the uh, Independence Party, where uh, they were they were working with the Progressive Party. They are talking now about uh, a new government with a new Prime Minister. Okay, so would this? Do you think that there's still a chance of seeing an early election at this stage? I really don't know, but uh, uh, I don't know what uh, if if, uh, if the public of Iceland will accept this. I, I really don't know, but uh, according to Twitter and uh, Facebook uh, state, state, statuses, uh, I think people are uh, well. I think that I I really think that this is not enough. For, for the people of Iceland. Is there any anger? I mean, in terms of your experience, people you've spoken to, um, is there any, much anger in, in Iceland over these allegations? Yeah, quite, people are both angry and uh, uh, I think they are like also uh, shocked. Yesterday, uh, we had the biggest uh, protests and in, in demonstrations in, in Iceland uh, for a very long time. Over 20,000 uh, people uh, gathered in, in front of uh, the parliament and, uh, and uh, there was a lot of anger there, yes. So how will this political standoff uh, affect an already weak economy in Iceland? I really don't know. Uh, I mean... Uh, uh, I mean, I, 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 did, uh, I, I did this story, I've been working on this story about the, the offshore company of the Prime Minister for 10 months and uh, uh, now I'm just working on some other stories uh, regarding the, the, this, uh, this big leak and uh, connected to Iceland. So I really don't have any opinion on, on, the, on the political uh, situation in, in, in Iceland. Uh, the story has been told and uh, now it is the, the politics and uh, the public of Iceland that uh, will decide what happens. OK, Johannes, just a, one quick last question. How serious do you think is what the Prime Minister has done? And do you think there'll be sort of further investigations on a national level into these Panama Papers? Well, I think, uh, I think uh, in, the, in, the, in the case of the Prime Minister, it's, uh, uh, it's not about the legal uh, point in, in, in the story. It's about the ethical point. The ethical part of this story is much big, bigger than the legal point. So. I really don't know. I, I really hope that he can, uh, you know, uh, uh, answer for those uh, for this company and uh, gives uh, give uh, some proofs about, uh, uh, you know, if he, if he he has said that they, uh, they had to have uh, paid taxes and and declared uh, this company on on their tax report, and but he has to show his uh, tax report. Okay, Johannes, thank you very much for that. That's Johannes Christensen from Reykjavik.